Making too much of it. Avalok's as secretive as any elf. Yeah. What are your suspicions exactly? I... I don't know, She Geralt. agrees. I have a feeling it's important. Come with us. Go. Fine. Where is it? On a small isle between Undvik and Spikarog. Not exactly on our way. Just found out the sunstones on Ard Skellig. Cavern along the coast that we can only access from the sea. Gonna Why she... need some real magic to get in, too. Go find this laboratory. I'll explore Ard Skellig. You can join me later. Philippa, your eyesight. Only just recovered and magically simulated. Didn't you say you'd need some time to get accustomed? That's awesome. Did I? Good for her. Oh, I'd forgotten how irritating she can be. Come, Siri. <laughs> Shut up. How did you forget, Siri? But yeah. We'll await you there. Yes, Geralt? Margarita any better? I managed to accelerate tissue regeneration. She's feeling much better. In fact, we must bring Eridin here as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'm afraid these sorceresses of yours will start fighting amongst themselves. <laughs> they already are. From the look of things, pretty soon Siri won't need your help anymore. Nor yours. True. She'll do whatever she wants, and I'll support her. What about you? Ready to let her live her own life? I shan't force her to do anything, if that's your question. Charming world you and Elle have got. Could easily fall in love with the place. Tell me, how do you do it? Sit around playing flute, painting rutting unicorns in gorgeous landscapes, building ornately sculpted towers? And then you murder us, without batting an eye, without a hint of guilt. How? Do you humans feel guilt when you murder Enshe elves? Or dwarves? Or dryads? We are the same. Simply because we both firmly believe others are inferior. Hmm. Okay. He's showing a side of him that he hasn't shown before. It doesn't contradict his character from before. But he does show that he's a bigot. So, can I push a dagger through his eye? Tell me something more about Caranthir. Know him well? Know him? I reared him. Raised, don't you mean? No, Geralt. I began shaping him long before he was born. For centuries, I brought together pairs of elves manifesting certain abilities, those able to manipulate time and space. He is the result of these efforts. Hmm. Caranthia, a golden child. Golden child who grew up to be a criminal. You imprisoned Siri the first time you met her. Now you protect her while fighting against your own kind. Quite an about face. First of all, I did not imprison her. She found me. It was her destiny. Yeah, sure. Get to the second of all. Why are you helping her? Because she is a danger. A mortal one. You look at her and see a human, a ward, a daughter even. I look and see the Elder Blood. A power that can destroy the world. A power that must be kept from Eridin's power-addled hands at all costs. Admittedly, our motives differ. Yet in spite of that, we share a goal. So, you would be wise to trust me. Or at least try. You know what would be really cool? So long. Now I've just started to realize how exactly the Elder Prophecy, Hatress, uh, how the Elder Pro Prophecy might have some uh, more complex ramifications later on. So the Elder Prophecy has got all to do with the Elder Blood, and all, not Elder Prophecy, it's a, it's a different word. Uh, but uh, it's got to do with the Elder Blood and all that, and uh, those of the Elder Blood can force the planes, which is, you know, their Vigant. actual planes, not, you know, air, airborne flying planes, but... Um, not airplane, that's what I mean, it's like planars, planar things, planar spheres, I think it is. And the conjunction brought them together, but what if the Elder World can destroy the world or save it, but not in the sense that it could ch make a choice, but in the sense that it's gonna destroy or send all the monsters that we have in here to the, the world of the elves, but 
save this world because of that. Hmm. Probably isn't gonna be like that. It's probably gonna be more straightforward. I think it's too late for a twist like that, but we'll see. We'll see. So we need to go. Okay, so here we are. I'm gonna give you guys some visibility with the beautiful torches. I love these ruins. Oh, we got Earth Elementals. And Yennefer is over here. Entrance is very well protected. I believe we'll find something interesting inside. How will you lift the barrier? Atlan Kirk's inclusion should do the trick. Remember the spell? I remember you teaching me. And to think I thought you an overbearing cold shrew at the time. Now, now. This is no time to get soppy. Soppy? Ladies? So, any incriminating letters? Closets full of skeletons? We've not even opened the door yet. It's a highly complex magic barrier. Let's try it. Yatta Ligon! We've awoken the sentry. Of I'll course. Take care of this. Yeah, just don't talk and do your thing. I'm good here. Don't awaken the other one. That'd be good. Okay. The elemental oil really did a trick. Surpri Surprisingly enough, it worked. Come. That guy didn't wake up. Pretty cozy. Doesn't look much like a lab at all. That proves nothing. We must look around. It's a bit low, isn't it? Rummaging through his papers. You wish to come, my dear. Portrait of Siri, I think. Hmm. No, that's not me. Where's the scar? It's definitely you. Hmm. Really captured you. Sure, Avalok's only interested in you for your magic abilities. <laughs> Very funny. Why is it funny? But it might be something else. She is Elder Blood, after all, so she could be... She could be, uh, similar to other... Look out. What? What happened? Oh. It seems someone was literally just here. Avalak's assistant, maybe? No. Somehow, doesn't seem like Avalak to have one. Hmm. A distillate? Smells like... Verbena. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha uh -huh what? I don't... No, nothing. Sometimes you really get on my nerves, you know. Herbs. Not very incriminating. Wait. We've not examined the entire laboratory yet. Yeah, we're gonna need to figure that out, aren't we? Okay, let's let her go ahead. It's not like the RPGs I like. What do we have over here? <laughs> Didn't know he had a sweet tooth. Well, they're elves. They don't get fat. If I didn't get fat, I'd have even more of a sweet tooth than I have already. Okay, so this place is pretty huge. Okay. She was gonna say something. Yen. Oh, we found something. Genealogical chart of the Enhani Care, the Elder Blood, from Laura Doran. To me. You never showed me the full version. I had Did... no idea Viedmont of Eden was an ancestor. Was he the one who punished his daughters with a hot iron? Or the one who had his own father's eyes gouged out? Him of the daughters. <laughs> My, even I'd never seen the full version. Yeah, Seems I figured. Avalark has analyzed all the paths of Lara's gene, even those we thought extinct. 
and they're not? He's only analyzing? Really believe that? If he's anything like our mages, I seriously doubt he's standing back and observing how Laura's descendants are doing. I don't think we'll ever know if or how deeply the elves have meddled in the gene's mutation. Did you have a hand in... in what Geralt mentioned? The work of those human mages? Of course not. Hmm. Let's look at his notes. Gods. He spent over two centuries on this. He was the first to study Lara's gene. Volker? Hmm. Some entries about Ciri. But it's here, later, that things get interesting. He actually tried to cultivate a genetic mix like Ciri's. But one excluding the human line. Meaning what exactly? That I ought to be looking about for giant jars holding my siblings? Don't no. be foolish. Avalach never got that far. I, Apparently having... all his experiments ended in failure. You are unique. What about the drawings? And that's why we've the wild hunt to contend with. Let's ferret on. See if we can't find something even more interesting. What? Why did he fail though? That's kind of important, isn't it? Hmm. Anyway, I couldn't read the notes too too deeply, apparently. I don't think we can. Let's try that. Nah, I can extinguish the candle, though. <laughs> There's things over there. Someone's there, beyond the door. Shh. Let me see this. Hmm. Mirror standard. Might have expected a hidden portal. What about the other thing? Hmm. Elves sure know their fragrances. So does Geralt, apparently. So who's there? Yennefer. It's the assistant, isn't he? Or she. It's gotta be a she. Sweet Tooth? Fragrances? Of course. Oh. That's Ciri's face. No! She's an elf. A normal one. How did you get in here? We mean you no harm. I care not at all why you're here. Get out. She's gonna recognize her. You. I remember you. From Tir Naliar. Remarkable. I thought all elves looked alike to those of your race. If it's Avalach you seek, he's not here. I know. And yet you come here. What for? To spy on him. He tries his damnness to save you every time you do something stupid. Is that not enough? What can you possibly know about that? You'd She's... be surprised. He's told me a great deal about you. She's his girlfriend. And she's jealous. Let's ask what, for example, because I don't think she holds any power over us right now. Like what? He said you shed Lara's features. I don't see whatever it is he sees. It seems a bit like trying to drink water from a mud puddle. But I imagine that belief somehow helps him with his task. What task? Do you, you think know... he trails you everywhere for pleasure? Even I grow ill at the sight of you. It's incredible how those like you still believe you're superior to humans, in any way. She's no human. She's a degenerate half-breed. To have no choice but to use something like that? It's humiliating. What was that, Geralt? Another word, and I'll... What? You'll change nothing. She must do what she must. Then Avalach will finally be free of her. Yeah, I figured, but... If he hates me so deeply, why didn't he tell me to my face? 
He, she's jealous. She's tr he, that's. Siri, you didn't actually believe her, did you? She's uh, personally involved in the matter. That's clear. What of it? If they despise me so, they should leave me be. Well, I, I don't really understand why Siri is feeling like this, because she shouldn't... Siri... What? Do you fear I'll level this place like I did Care Morn? Shame I can't do that at will, because I'd really like to now. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think this is a good choice. <laughs> is she gonna get what he means? I thought that was gonna be a good choice. Oh, he's, she's not actually gonna use her powers though. I guess it's a little bit better, isn't it? Especially because her eyes don't turn all weird. <laughs> Let's wreck the place. I think that was a good choice. Tris doesn't seem to disagree, so I think I think we're fine. There, that's better. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Jennifer doesn't didn't disagree at all. Did I call her Tris again? No, Jennifer didn't disagree at all. She forgot the I usually this is what I did in my history um, school books. I, I, I drew the, the the mustache, I drew the, the little goatee. Well actually this has a, a, a name, but I don't know the name. I drew little horns, uh like the things that you have over here. I don't know the I don't know the name of those, but Must we return to the boat right away? Something else you want to see? Not here. On Hindisfjall. In Lofoten. I met a young man, Skjall. And I'd like... Ah. What is it, Siri? Skjall is dead. The Wild Hunt. Everyone? No one survived? No, they Skjall did. died later. You sure it was him? You'd met him? I was there. I saw his body. Will you visit his grave with me? I'd like to... to say goodbye. Of course, what? I'll go with you. Thank you. Could you open a portal to Hindisfjall? I can. Let's do this. Come back soon, all right? Mm-hmm. See you. Oh, this is, this is gonna spell trouble. If she's asking us to come back soon, there's gonna be something happening right now. Why did he give me a choice? I mean, with the time, Let's I mean... look around. Should be a relatively fresh grave mound. Thank you for coming. I detest graveyards. Especially wandering them alone.
Graveyards, not my favorite either. Why not? Remind me of work. <laughs> Never been to a cemetery to visit someone's grave. Always hunting some ghoul or rot fiend. <sighs> Frankly, I'd rather have come here with a contract. To do some witch's work. Were we here before? I don't remember if we were. The last time we saw his body was, uh, Mercy, in the... son of Njord. Olaf, son of Ova. Inga, daughter of Chortnir. Damn it. He's not here. Skjall has no grave. Geralt, I shan't leave until I bury him. I think the body... What could have become of it? They didn't burn it. Save that honor for kings and heroes. Doubt they left him in the garden, too. Hmm. Ugh. Bastards. What? Beyond the village, there's a pit. They fill it with sheep taken by Blackleg. Crabs pick at their bones at night. Oh, boy. That's him. Why didn't he help her? You should have done long ago. We're burying Skjall. Burying Craven? You defy the right of the elders. Be gone. Leave this place. You defy our laws. We're not bound by them. Aye, and you've clearly no respect for our customs either. Craven's place is in the ditch. <laughs> Skjall saved your bloody lives. The wild hunt was after me. Had Skjall not led me away then, why they would have reduced Lofoten to ash? What would the spectres be wanting of some lass who... I am not some lass. And anyone who so much as touches this grave will learn that the hard way. Hey, none will disturb it. Desecrating graves. Well, it's the only thing elders punish harder than fleeing the battlefield. And what you said. Can't know the truth of it. The gods will judge Skjall now. We were right to come. Of course we were. I was deeply troubled. You've no idea. Well, they shouldn't spit on his name anymore. Let's go. It's not really their spit that matters, to be honest. Hmm. Back to the boat. Mm -hmm. That's how you earn respect in Skellige, Geralt. That's exactly how. That is. Ooh. Wearing golden armor, two swords at your back, and uh, helping your we serve her who is daughter, adopted daughter, to uh, to come to terms with her reality, I guess. That's respect. Why are we going over here, though? Why is she going over here? Loki, I need to talk to her, don't I? Wait a minute. Of course. Once you'd left Yen and me on the Isle of Avalon, what happened to you? What did you do? I traveled through time, space, different worlds. I saw houses of glass, ran with unicorns at the world's end. Even lived in an undersea kingdom for a time. Hmm. <laughs> Freedom. Always had a taste for it. I still do. 
So why'd you return? It was too much. I almost drowned in it. When everything is possible, it quickly becomes a lot less alluring. That island of Avalon there is the island that uh, Yennefer and, and Geralt were in, where basically they, they lived for, I think, 15 years where they raised her, or five years or something like that. But basically they, they, they got together, and that's, that's that. And that's when she left, for some reason. I'm, for whatever reason. Traveling between worlds, what's it like? It's nice. Difficult? It was at first, but in time it became automatic, like riding a horse. Bet a lot of mages would love to learn to do it. I'm certain they would. But Avalach claims they've neither the knowledge nor talent. He spent four centuries learning to do it, yet can still only find and pass through pre-existing portals. Yeah, I was gonna ask, can he do that I even? I go wherever I please. Whenever I please. So, need your advice about Yennefer. Very well. Ask away. The thing is, I'd like to take her somewhere once it's over. Some place picturesque, beautiful even, where we can rest. You've been almost everywhere. Also know Yen well. Any ideas? I was thinking Spala or maybe Dolbathana. I don't the know. First what those roadside are. inn you pass. Take her there. Pay for a month in advance. Carve do not disturb into the room door and shut it behind you. <laughs> Just like that? Just like that. That not that a little bit weird? But she was really certain about that. I think if I... Mm-hmm. Aridin's located you time and again. How's that work? When I pass between worlds, I create a kind of shockwave. Anyone properly trained can sense it. That's how Avalach explains it at any rate. He can do it too. Yeah. So you shouldn't actually ever use your power. It's not like that. The impulse is stronger the longer my voyage. On short hops, the disturbance is practically imperceptible. Huh. Interesting. I should go. All right. We'll talk later. We will. We'll, we'll, I need to sneak into the Emperor's boat. But first I'll talk to Avalak over here and talk about yes, his girl. mistress. Yeah. Went by your laboratory. I trust you did not make a mess. Didn't mention you were the NL Elves' chief source of knowledge about Ciri's abilities. I didn't mention many things. Fortunately, they're no longer important. Your experiments with the gene, elder blood, that's not important. I pursued those studies to protect Ciri. To protect Lara Doran's blood in whomever's veins it courses. I don't doubt that, actually. Hmm. I really don't doubt that, but then again, perspectives and all that. Ran into someone at your lab. Did you know? Mm hmm. A she-elf. Claimed you hate Ciri. <laughs> so how's that fit you trying to protect her, whatever the cost? Not at all. You don't really expect me to confess my feelings to you, do you? You already did before. I know you're a bigot. So long. You, you, you can't get past me. So if there's one thing I learned about this game, is that there's not a lot of inconsistencies between the dialogues, of di between different dialogues of the same character. So if in one... If in one dialogue he comes off as a, a bigot, then that's going to be a backdrop for yes, everything, everything else. So long, Triss. 